Hi, it's Mark Homan from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. It's day 379 of our Be Creative series. Now, inspired, I was inspired last week by one of our speakers who used a laundry hamper as a light source. You know, we used the laundry hamper before to put, put Baby Yoda in jail, but now I'm using it as a background because just like our speaker did, he shined the light in it, it gives us this great pattern that goes and that inspired me and I was downstairs picking up the laundry basket and I saw one of these little mementos we have on a shelf it's an old Bell and Howell eight millimeter movie camera that has this great art deco feel to it and I thought that was a great a great feeling with the background so the squares and the, the rectangles and the circles of the lenses on the movie camera in contrast with the background so I lit up this scene. So what have we got? We've got three of the Lytra Pro lights. So one with the softbox, two with the barn doors. So one inside the laundry hamper, lighting up the laundry hamper, giving us these shapes. The main light here with this beautiful soft light, almost a side light soft light. And then the third one with a real strong backlight. So when I designed this picture, I had a couple of shots in mind. And come take a look. So here is the more Art Deco look, right, with the background behind it. Now if I shoot this at F8, you can see the background is pretty much out of focus. I'm going to switch the aperture to F, uh, that was at F5.6, let me go to F11. And you're going to see the background comes slightly more into focus, right? And you as the photographer needs to decide what you want the background in the picture to be. And I like this shot. I really like the feel of it. But what I'm going to do now is, and, and why I use the 70 to 200 lens on a lot of these pictures, is I can zoom in. And another aspect of having it on the, on the tripod with the um, lens collar on. Look at that. So come on down and look at that composition. Right? Is that a really cool composition? Right, I'm F11 focusing right here on the front. Take a look at that. Let me get rid of the, change the display here. Look at that. That's the feeling that I had in mind when I set up the shot. So you've got these circles and rectangles all kind of working together in the picture. It's a really strong image to me. It's going to be a black and white when I'm done. So I'm ISO 400 F11 a tenth of a second. I mean, you guys all know that kind of stuff, right? So push in, take a look at that. Enjoy it, explore, right? And this is just a memento I had around the house. So what do I want to see from you this week? I want you to grab something, grab some cool object that you got around the house, and let's put some light on it. And if you don't have any fancy lights, I mean, these are not real fancy, it's the Lytra Pros. Grab a desk lamp or something so you can control the lighting and make the picture happen. Because you know what? When you see shapes and lines and you control the light, then you can really make a picture. Mark Komen from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy, wishing everyone good luck, great pictures, and watch your email next week. We're gonna have a Facebook Live next week and we're gonna have some really cool stuff next week because the 1st of April, we're relaunching photo trips, photo walks, and night hawks at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. Because you know what? The end is in sight. And soon, if we're all smart and we keep our distancing, keep our masks on, we'll be able to get out together and make some pictures. I can't wait. Mark Coleman wishing you great pictures, and we'll see you tomorrow for another day of Be Creative.